Hey everybody, Mrs. Storm here, checking in for another day of our reading challenge. We are coming along really good. We have done five different reading challenges so far. So today let's knock out another one from our card. So here is my card so far. Today I am going to turn on the TV, mute it, and turn on the captions, and then read the captions. So... I hope you guys like Disney Channel. Currently, Bunked is on. I've only seen one episode before. So, hopefully, you guys know what's going on on the show. So, here we go. There is some sort of beauty pageant going on. Destiny, you have five seconds left. Um, Snickerdoodles. Okay. Let's bring up our next contestant before our sponsors ask for their money back. Crowd applauding. That means clapping. Oh, and it's a commercial on Disney Channel. Precious moments like these. <coughs> the greens have each other's backs. Oh, that was almost, oh, they're going so fast. Let's do this. They're a family working together. All May, I'm going to show you all the things that are meaningful to me in this city. You can watch the big greens back to back. Dang! We're going to be here for a while. Now dance! Plus bonus content. This is not real right now. Tilly, welcome special guests. Welcome to the talk show that only exists in my dreams. In Tilly's fun time TV minute shorts. Get together with big city greens in May. Boy, this is going to be fun. Continues tonight, starting at 8 on Disney Channel. Ooh, an adventure with some of the greatest heroines of all time. Who go beyond the reef, escape their tower, and save a nation. Music playing. Disney, Beauty and the Beast, Moana, Mulan, Little Mermaid, Tangle, Cinderella, Disney Princess, Adventure Awaits. That says World of Fun. And look, that does look like fun. Discover new ways. Bunch of balloons. Don't be mad. Your parents said you had to be in bed by nine. Dude, you're going to vaporize me? Just like that? Wow. Come on, let me tuck you in nice and tight. Hachoo! Whoa! Whoa! Take it easy. You almost gave me a hairdo that even I wouldn't be able to pull off. Cooing. I do my thing. Watch Gabby Duran and the Unsittables. Okay, it looks like Bunked is back. Stop. I refuse to allow you to take, make a mess for me to clean up. But you are a cleaning robot. Isn't cleaning kind of your jam? No, it's not my jam. I prefer to spend time with Mateo, pleasing my core processors with cognitive challenges. Sorry, but he and I are going rock chucking. No, you are not. Now get out. Otis laughing. <laughs> I got soap in my mouth. This is giving me flashbacks to the time I got my mouth washed out for saying the S word. You said, yep, science. Door open. Otis laughing. Door closed. What happened to you on stage? Janice distracted me by yelling, you can do it, woohoo! Can you imagine anything more devious or cutthroat? Or maybe she was just being nice? Lou, I've been through this a thousand times. Janice knows I'm her main competition, so she's playing mind games with me. Well, game on. If you want a real mind game, there's a box of hay in the cabin. Hey, Janice. Great job in the question and answer. Really? You think I did all right? Heck yeah! So the talent competition is coming up. What you got up your sleeve? Well, despite the fact that it is Saturday, I was going to make one of my famous ice cream sundaes. Patronizingly. Oh, that sounds cute. 
You don't sound too impressed. It's just, I want to see you do well. And making one Sunday is okay. But I'd bet you really dazzled the judges if you made enough for the entire crowd in 30 seconds. Oh, but how could I do that? Well, I don't normally help competitors. But since you've been so darn nice, I suppose I could tell you how I'd do it. You are just the sweetest thing. I could hug you. Still not ready for the hug? We'll work our way up to it. Guys, that caption reading is a lot of work. It goes really, really, really fast. So if you try this at home and you miss some words while you're reading them, that's totally fine. Um, I could hardly keep up with bunked. But what I do want you to practice if you try this is using expression when you read. And that means that whatever emotion that character is feeling, you are using your voice to convey that emotion to the audience. So if your character is feeling mad, um, you use your voice to sound mad. If your character is feeling happy, then you make your voice sound really happy. So give that a try. It's kind of fun. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.